All right, next project is going to be to create one of these little gnome characters. Um, you might have seen these on Etsy or Pinterest or any one of those sites. There's a number of them going around. There's all kinds of different styles of them. Um, and I've created a couple of different examples here that you can uh, see. Um, what are you gonna need to get started? Well, you'll need obviously water, sponge, okay? A needle tool, uh, definitely gonna need a comb, popsicle stick or tongue depressor. And then I like to use the blue rubber rib, uh, especially while I'm smoothing and getting things cleaned up. Um, there's definitely some smoothing that you can do later on, okay? And then you're gonna need two large pieces of clay or one large piece of clay and then a pretty good sized ball of clay um, that we're gonna start with a pinch pot, okay? Um, as a beginner in this class, you should be a professional at making pinch pots by now. Um, it's a very useful way of making things. Uh, and so we should be very familiar with that, all right? We're gonna start by making a bowl, okay? And for this bowl, we wanna kinda of concentrate on pulling those walls up and making it a little bit taller than a bowl, like a cereal bowl or something like that, that's gonna be wider at the base um, or wide and low. In other words, we wanna make something that's gonna be um, not necessarily tall and narrow, but definitely narrower than a cereal bowl. Probably something more like a, I don't know, a little change cup or something like that, um, if you wanna use a example of something. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start pinching this. And it's important that we do this first because once we get our, and you'll notice the technique that I'm using here, I'm starting at the bottom and then I'm kind of pulling myself up as I pinch, 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 pinch. And that's gonna give me a little bit more height rather than just pinching it all at once. And that's, which is gonna give me a little bit more width. Okay, so we want this to stay tall this way, okay, and not get too wide. So we don't want to get that too wide. The wider it gets, the shorter your gnome head or face is going to be, okay. So, getting pretty close here. Give it a couple of taps like that, just like we did before, just to kind of help even things out. Get a couple little cracks in this, but that's okay. Add a little bit of water to that. Smooth those guys out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use the rib on the inside just like we did when we made our first pinch pots, okay? Or when we did the pumpkins even. That's just gonna help kind of smooth that out and make this all nice and even, okay? The inside's really not that critical. Um, nobody's ever gonna really see it. As you can see, this is covered up. Um, this one's got some holes cut into it, um, the star shapes, but for the most part, it's not that critical. All right. So there we go. There's our bowl. Okay. It's a little bit taller than this one, a little bit smaller. This one, I think I went a little bit big. Okay. If I had to be a little bit picky, I'm going to use the flat side and just kind of smooth this out a little bit, get rid of some of those finger bumps that I created when I was pinching. Maybe go around a couple of times just to help smooth this out. Oops. There we go. And then go around with our fingertips and make him nice, make it nice and smooth. There we go. Okay. So this is going to be how it's gonna sit. Now, because this is round, it's gonna tip over real easy. So I'm gonna give it a couple of taps and I'm just gonna ever so slightly, very, very little bit of a tilt back. If you tilt it back like this, it's gonna tip over because the cone for the, um, the hat is gonna be way too, um, is gonna help kind of pull that over, okay? When we talk about balance and that kind of thing, all right? Okay, so there we go. So that is just basically the, um, the head or the body of my gnome. Now I need to make a cone for the hat. Um, make sure that when you do this, that you have a nice stretched out, elongated uh, uh, piece of clay so that when we put it through the slab roller, you're gonna have enough um, length on the bottom of the triangle that's going to become your, um, your hat to be able to go all the way around this, all right? I'm gonna roll out my slab and I'm gonna show you exactly what, that, what I mean by that um, in the next one. 